In this video, we will talk about records. Now, we have seen data type definitions like this, where we define a data type uh, and use uh, type constructors in order to, for example, here, have a data type for a person. Now, I would need to tell you in the comments, basically, that this string uh, should represent the name of this person and the int should represent the age. And if we wanted to have functions in order to get these values, we would create functions that give us the name and the age. Now, this is not really, you know, nice because the data type really doesn't reflect any of that, which is why there is a special data type in Haskell that can actually do that. And it's called records. Now, those records are basically, well, the types that we already know, but now the arguments are named. Now, from this definition, automatically, these functions are generated, name and age. They take a person and they then give you the data type of whatever that variable is. So you don't have to write these functions yourself. They are just, um, well, supplied uh, by the Haskell uh, compiler. So now we can, for example, write a function like this, where we greet a person and... Well, we basically use char arrays here. So strings are char arrays. I don't think I've mentioned that in the series. And the plus plus is appending two lists. Um, so what we say here, well, okay, we have the char array high and then we get the name of the person. Okay. Now, sometimes you do want to manually uh, work with the type of whatever you have, like here, for example, the person. Uh, so you can do it like this, basically, you know, the normal, um, the normal pattern matching that we already know of these types. And it's also very important that uh, it's irrelevant uh, how you call this variable here. You could call it name or you could call it n. It's irrelevant. Um, only the order of the arguments is important. Okay. It's also important to see that records can have multiple constructors and the functions that are automatically generated work on different constructors. Like here, for example, the x function works on d2 and d3 in this case because both have this variable x, but then uh, z only works on d3 and not on d2 because that's where we get an exception because, again, there is no match in record selector z.